question goes to Aaron Portsline. Go ahead, Aaron. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks. Max, I, I think I may have asked you this exact question, but it, it applies tonight. It, it seemed like your game was even more there tonight. That just feel like your most most complete. I forget the goal. Your most complete game yet with Columbus. Yeah, I think as as a whole, we were great tonight. I mean, that's that's a full sixty minutes by our full roster. Um, we're, when we play like that, we're a tough team to beat. And, uh, you got to give Florida credit there; they capitalized, and uh, they're a good hockey team. So it was nice to get the extra point tonight, and uh, we're really happy with that win. That's for sure. Way to answer the bell, and um, obviously we're coming off a real tough game as a whole, and uh, as a group, everyone was better, and that's what you like to see. Yeah, Max, you on that power play goal. Hey, how did that? How good did that feel? I know you guys needed one of those. You seemed like you got everything you could on that puck. That was about as, as clean a striped puck as you could get. Yeah, you know, I, th I think we talked about it. Obviously, we've we've been struggling a little bit, but um, that's how it goes, peaks and valleys, and um, sometimes you just got to simplify. And that's a great pass by Z right in the wheelhouse. And, you just got to hit the net and, and hit it as hard as you can. Uh, obviously, it was nice to see Bjorky just put it in just in case. Um, yeah. So, um, it, it's good. We'll, we'll build on that for sure. Did you know for sure? I know Bjorky did what he should have in that case just to finish it, but did you know it was a goal immediately? I mean, I thought it was, but sometimes you, you can't see. So I think either way, no matter what, even if it, if you do think it went in, you got to finish that. So yeah, it's a great play by him as well. And early this season, both of your goaltenders have been really good. That's usually something the teams are concerned about before they get settled in. Just about Elvis's performance tonight, especially in the, the overtime and the shootout. Yeah, he, I mean, both of our goalies have been unbelievable. I mean, you, you hear everyone talk about it, but I think, in my opinion, you have the best hand in the league. And uh, I mean, that one-two punch, you, you have two number one goalies. So it's uh, it's great. And our, our group really thrives off that. We, we build confidence uh, together. And I mean, you look at that shootout, those – Arguably, those, those three guys go on are three of the best shootout guys in the league. So, um, well, I mean, minus uh, the last guy there, sometimes they throw in whatever it is to Claire Barkoff and Huber Hill. So, uh, whoever that might be, it's a, it's a good mix. And for him to stand in his head like that was, was huge for us. But what a, what a goal by Texas. Sorry, I didn't even mention that. That was absolutely ridiculous. Okay, next we'll go to Dave, to, uh, Dave Methel. Go ahead, Dave. Uh, yeah, you led me right into my question. Uh, as a goal scorer, how impressive was that move? And especially to have the confidence to, to use that move right there. Yeah, uh, that's, I mean, I was shaking my head. I think our whole bench was shaking our head. That's that's absolutely off the charts. That move there is uh, it's pretty ridiculous. So it's, uh, it's great to see him. And he's playing such good hockey right now. And he's been such a big part of this team's success. And uh, he's only going to get better um, as, as the days go here. So um, it's great to see him put that in there. That's very impressive. Max, I'm, I'm sorry if you already covered this. I came in a little late, but 18 hits in the first period. How much did that lay the foundation for what you did the rest of the way? Yeah, I think that's what we talked about before uh, the game. Obviously, the last game was tough, and we wanted to eliminate that. And that's a team that when you let them buzz around there, they're pretty lethal. They've got a lot of skill, a lot of speed. And um, the best way to encounter that is just to I mean, close on them and, and cut off plays early. And then we did that as, as a whole group, and um, that was the game plan, and it worked. So it's, uh, it's great to see. Next, we'll go to Bill Rabinowitz. Go ahead, Bill. Max, you've got a guy coming in here, and Patrick Laine, who's got a great shot. The, the, your goal, that was an absolute laser. Um, how good did it feel to let that one go? Could you tell as soon as you made contact why I got all that one? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I think we, we talked about it earlier. It's just you want to simplify it, and power play's been struggling, so just get shots on net. And at that point, you're just trying to hit as hard as you can and, and hit the net. You're not really picking corners. Um, so goalies are too good in the league. You just got to hit the net and you got to rip it. And it's a heck of a play by Z. And, uh, yeah, we'll take it. Thank you. Yeah, next, we'll go to Justin Bavoda. Go ahead, Jeff. Thanks, Glenn. Uh, thanks, Max. Uh, John Tortorella has said in a couple interviews that he had wanted you to play with a little bit more uh, personality and maybe even snarl a little bit here after watching you the first couple games. Do you, was that a focus for yours? Is that something he shared with you? And do you think you did that tonight? Um, you know, I think as, as a group, we wanted to create energy. And, um, you know, it's, it's obviously – elephant in the room it's it's tough when there's no fans so you got to create that emotion and that energy within your own group and uh sometimes whatever that takes you, you got to do it so um you got to find a way and everyone's different obviously just to kind of get yourself emotionally involved in the game and uh get that competitive spark going and uh, i think as, as a whole we had everyone doing that tonight and it was great to see well torch had said that about you specifically though is that something he had shared with you uh, just to kind of get that draw that out of you a little bit as a group, I think we, we wanted to address just being ready to go from the puck drop, and then we were tonight. So it was, like I said, great to see, and it was a huge win, and we'll build on it now. Obviously, you got to get some rest here and get ready to go for a back-to-back -back against a good team in Chicago, and uh, get ready to go for tomorrow now. Okay, next, we'll go to Mark Scheid. Go ahead, Mark. Thanks, Glenn. Yeah, Max, the, the two-game series,
is the Panthers were able to come back on on your team four separate times, including twice tonight. Just what does it say about your team that you guys were able to kind of hang in there and pull this one out? Hey, at the end of the day, we got the two points. That's what we'll focus on. It's a big win, and uh, we'll move forward from it. So um, Elvis played a great game today and, and stood on his head when he had to. And uh, as a group, that's what, uh, that's what you want to see. So I'll let you guys talk to him now. And you got to play with Liam Foodie. You got to play with Liam Foodie tonight. Can you just talk about just how uh, just fast he is and just he just seemed very noticeable tonight? Yeah, I mean, we have so many guys that are fun to play with, but Foods is, is, is a guy with so much potential. He flies around like you can see, obviously. Uh, smart player and very competitive. So he's on the puck and creates a lot of space for you and, and he goes to the right areas. So uh, I certainly like playing with him. And Grigo was great tonight as well. I think we had all four lines going. And again, it's 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 awesome to see him. we got to build on it now. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, guys.